Okay, let's uh, do today's question 270, closest the binary search tree value. The question is uh, given a non-empty non binary search tree and the target value. We need to find the value in the binary search tree that is closest to the target. The, there are two nodes here, given target value is a floating point. The second thing is you are guaranteed to have only one unique value in the binary search tree that is closest uh, to the target. So. Uh, the example here we have uh, a binary search tree the with the value is two uh, four two five one three if we want to find the closest uh, value in the binary search tree that is close to that that's the closest to the target uh, 3.7 uh, it's uh, quite obvious that, that the root node has uh, it is the uh, you know the answer it has a distance uh, that's uh, 0.29 something, 0.28 something. That's the smallest uh, compared to all the other nodes in there. Um, but this example doesn't give us a really nice idea how we're actually going to traversal through the tree. So maybe we should decrement this value to be like a 2.7, 2.7. So even though it says 3.7, just try to imagine we are working on an example that's. Uh, has a target value that's 2.7. We let's see how we would do to manually solve this. So if we're looking at uh, the root, that's ob obviously our entry point to the tree. Um, we compare the difference between four and the 2.7. We got 1.3. That's the current uh, current uh, uh, closest uh, distance. And uh, four is now, as far as we know, the closest of uh, no value and uh, we should actually utilize the property of the binary search tree to help us to go through the tree so things number four is uh, larger than 2.7 uh, we should go to explore only the left children because only the left children are the values that's smaller than uh, four all the values to the right is larger than 4 and since 4 is larger than 2.7 all the values here to the to the right of it is going to have larger distance uh, to the target value compared to this node value so we should uh, the um, the compar comparison of this node value and the target combined with the property of the binary search tree is telling us to go to the left so we look at the number 2 here the distance now reduced from 1.3 to um, 0 0.7 and we update now a candidate solution from 4 to 2 and since 2 is smaller than 2.7 it's telling us to go to explore the right children of it and since now we are we are uh, at the leaf node there is no more we can explore uh, after doing the comparison and updates which is um, this one is uh, compared to 2.7 it has a distance of 0.3 which is uh, now even smaller than the previous one uh, we updated the candidate from 2 to 3 and since 3 is a leaf node we terminate the algorithm and just return that um, return the candidate as the final solution so that's the uh, pretty much the solution um, in terms of time and space complexity, uh, we are exploring uh, only one path from the root towards the leaf nodes. So the time complexity is l the depth of the tree. And uh, for the space, we, we would just use one pointer for the traversal node and just one variable to hold the candidate uh, value. So it's constant space. Um, so yeah, let's code it up. Move myself over, and let's code. So uh, we will have a traversal node, which will start with the root as our entry point. We have a candidate value, which starts with the root node's value. And while we are still um, you know, still a valid node, not uh, 
uh, not something that uh, you, you know when we are at the leaf node the, the all the children's are the the two children's uh, are no pointers um, we just move that to either side uh, we will we will end up being a no pointer and we will once we do that we will break out of this while loop um, we should update the candidate whenever we move to a new node that's the um, we can compare the candidate with the current node value in terms of their distance uh, to to the target value. That's distance is the absolute difference. Um, and if the node's value is smaller than the target, that tells us we should go to the right. Else, if uh, the node value is uh, uh, larger than um, larger than the target, um, larger than the node, we move to to the left. The only other option is that uh, we just so so happen to find a node that uh, is exactly the same value as the target uh, we should just return that node's value and once we break out uh, this while loop meaning that uh, we at uh, at the duck at the very last iteration we are at a leaf node and uh, uh, we just do move to either side it's going to be null so uh, we just return the candidate So that, that should be the algorithm. Yeah, uh, it's, it seems okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a quick one. Bye for now.